In the world of amateur astronomy, there's a common saying that the best telescope is the one you use the most. This simple truth often points away from large, complex and heavy setups that live in an observatory or more likely in a garage and towards a grab-and-go rig. The ideal grab-and-go setup is defined by its portability, meaning lightweight, quick to set up and easy to travel with. Whether you're flying to a dark sky site, camping for the weekend or just dashing into the backyard for a clear 30 minute window, you need a system that can ideally be ready in minutes. With this idea in mind, SV Boney set out to design a smaller version of the now well regarded SV225 at Azimuth Mount Head, called unsurprisingly SV225 Mini. And in today's video, we'll take a deeper look at its pros, cons and the main differences to its bigger brother besides the size. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to another video review. The foundation of any portable system is its mount head plus tripod. An alt azimuth or alt as mount which moves in simple up down and left right is the intuitive choice for portability, cutting out the weight, counterweights and complex polar alignment procedures of its equatorial design cousins. Taking a page out of Vixen's book of great mount designs, SV Boney created the SV225 mount head, which I also reviewed when it came out a couple of years ago. I found it to be really good and in my opinion it was suffering from only one major flaw. The unit that I had had a bit of play on the alt axis of movement which reduced its accuracy when observing at high magnifications. A couple of years later SV Boney came out with a smaller, more portable version, the SV225 Mini and they asked me if I would take a closer look and review it. I said yes, because I was mainly interested to see if there were any significant differences compared to the bigger model and if it's worth the asking price of a hundred bucks. And while this is very generous of them to send me a unit to review, I just want to note that my opinions are my own and they didn't influence the verdict of this video in any way. So with this out of the way, let's take a closer look at the SV225 Mini. Taking the mount out of the box reminds me of its bigger brother, starting from the way it's assembled in a folded configuration with the base upside down to its design and the fact that it's completely made out of aluminum. It's literally a shrunken down version of the original mount head. It's also hefty for its size and feels very well put together, conveying a good first impression. The base can be rotated in different positions to accommodate a variety of OTA formats and allow for zenith observations. Depending on the size of the telescope, sacrificing zenith or near zenith observations might be necessary though which is definitely a drawback of this particular design in such a shrunken down form. The adjustable clutch screws are a nice improvement over the ones from the bigger model, as you can now reposition the handles so they don't get in the way. Also a nice little detail that I came to appreciate is the engraved rings showing the degrees of orientation on both axes. A step down in quality is however the all plastic motion controls. These are keyed and fit tightly on the control ends of the mount, which is nice, but since these are made out of plastic, the screws for tightening them can easily strip the threading and if you do strip the threads, you either need to replace the whole rod or press fit some threading to make them hold on again. At the bottom, the base features a 3 8 of an inch threading, just like the original, and this allows attaching the mount head to any tripod, even the ones designed for cameras, if you have the necessary adapter for quarter inch bolts. 
Weighing only 1.5 kilograms, the Mini is light and combined with a small size should make for a nice component of a light travel setup. The saddle is of a Vixen design and supports two screws for securing the OTA to the mount. And just like in the case of its bigger brother, I believe that it's a bit of a missed opportunity that SV Boney did not use a saddle with tightening clamps instead. I simply hate when the tightening screws leave marks on the Vixen bar on the OTA. Other than this, the mount head makes a good and sturdy impression, so let's put it to the test. The mount's 90 degrees saddle orientation, when paired with its small form factor, creates a significant clearance issue that severely restricts telescope compatibility. Anything bigger or wider than 4 inches in aperture won't fit without risking contact with the mount head. Don't get me wrong, this is absolutely fine for such a small and compact mount head, but if the saddle orientation would be different, like up top, like in the case of the AZ Pronto from Skywatcher, then this wouldn't be an issue at all. Anyway, in order to test its capabilities, I paired the SV225 Mini with a lightweight aluminum tripod and loaded it up with a 4-inch SV503ED refractor. Including the diagonal and eyepiece, the telescope came in at over 5 kilograms, which is above the rated load capacity of 5 kilograms of the mount head. And you know what? it took it like a champ. Apart from the OTA barely fitting, the mount had performed admirably, no matter the inclination and movement type. Whether I was trying out very fine adjustments at high magnifications, past 150x or so, or manually slewing to a different target, the movements were smooth and controlled. In fact, Past 70 degrees of inclination on the alt axis, the SV225 Mini still was rock solid, a value past which on the AZ Pronto I started to see some creeping if the OTA isn't perfectly balanced. While the mount head is solid and stiff, being this small and supporting such a heavy load leads to a lot of torque being concentrated in the relatively small area of the joints, which inadvertently leads to more vibrations that persist for longer when compared to bigger mounts. This is why I wouldn't recommend going past 180 times magnification with this mount no matter the load. But it's important to note here that the lighter the OTA becomes, the less pronounced these vibrations will be. So we've established the important details. The SV225 Mini is a compact, all-metal, manual mount head with worm gears and slow motion controls. It's very well built and if you pair it with a decent OTA up to 4 inches in aperture, and a stable tripod, it represents an excellent choice for a lightweight travel setup. But there is a different angle, one that's pointing to something arguably just as important. In my opinion, this mount head is one of the best upgrades you can buy for a children's first telescope. Let's be honest, the beginner's telescopes marketed for kids are not telescopes, not really. They are rather hobby killers. The optical tube itself is often good enough, but the included mount, that flimsy, wobbly construction, is a tool of pure frustration. And this is where the SV225 Mini really shines. The simple, analog and intuitive controls of an alt azimuth mount head combined with butter smooth movements reduces the frustration caused by cheap models to a minimum and reduces the necessity of getting a complex, computerized go-to system. The SV225 Mini functions as a straightforward, robust tool that allows a new user to learn by doing, making it a strong contender for a first serious astronomical mount head. Anyway, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the SV225 Mini and telescope mounts for kids in general. I'm very much looking forward to reading your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.